In the exciting world of mechanical keyboards, one of my favorite things are switches. And today we got something super exciting for review. If you have been following the channel, you might know that Akko has been making some really good products, especially in the budget scene. But today, we got a special collaboration between Akko and TTC with these new switches. I really enjoyed using Akko CS switches, so I'm super excited for today's video. Before we start the video though, only a small percentage of those that watch my video are actually subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's video, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. It's free and you can always change your mind later. With that being said, enjoy the video. So the switches we have for review today are the Echo TTC Demon and Princess switches. This is a special collaboration that is equipped with TTC's latest condenser technique which is a brand new way for light guidance that collects, transmits, and emits uniform and vibrant LED backlight on mechanical keyboards. This sounds super fancy, and we'll talk more about it later on in the video. Both these switches are linear switches with different bottom-up forces. In addition, the switch has been enhanced with stem stability and smoothness. And unlike CS switches, which came in a pack of 45, these come in a pack of 10. That is why I was so surprised about the price since it was $6.99 for 10 switches. In comparison, Akko CS switches are $9.99 for 45 switches. That puts these new switches up in the likes of Gateron Ink Black switches, which are one of the pricier switches in the hobby, at $7.50 for 10 switches. So hopefully these Akko switches turn out as good as the inks. Moving on to the unboxing, the switches come in the same packaging as the Akko CS switches, but in a smaller box, since there's only 10 switches. You know that these switches are expensive, because Echo only sent me a couple packs, which I'm still super thankful for, but I won't be able to put each of the switches to fill a full keyboard. Starting off with the aesthetics, I really like the colors of these switches. Echo has been making some very vibrant switches, with some nice transparent top housing, and I'm a big fan. Especially, I think that the pastel pink on the princess switch is super pretty. The first thing you might notice about this switch is that it's got a box style stem. I've seen a lot of switches recently change to this style to reduce the stem wobble. I think that this is definitely a nice improvement and I can feel that it has less stem wobble than the other previous Echo CS switches. Another improvement that Echo stated that they made is an improvement on smoothness. Smoothness is pretty hard to test these days as a lot of the newer switches have pretty good smoothness. But comparing them to the Echo Radiant Red side by side, I definitely do notice a slight difference in smoothness. It's hard to tell if you press quickly, but slowly you can feel a slight scratchiness to the Radiant Reds. Next, let's talk about the condenser technique. In the description, they state that this is a brand new way for light guidance that collects, transmits, and emits uniform and vibrant LED backlight, but essentially, it is an acrylic diffuser in the switch to make the RGB look better. I think that this is a cool new invention since Echo does target a lot of new people in the keyboard hobby that do like RGB. My only issue with it is that for cherry profile keycaps, the diffuser costs an interference in sound. But you can also take out the diffuser if you don't want it, and if you're also using the diffuser, I feel like you're going to be using OEM anyways since those keycaps usually tend to have shine through. One thing that did scare me though was that without the diffuser, the bottom part of the switch is really flimsy, so I was kind of scared when pulling out the switches from a keyboard. But I'll still be using these switches without the acrylic diffuser, since I usually have the RGB off anyways, and I'd rather not have the interference when using cherry keycaps. The sound profile of this switch is similar to the other Echo CS switches. It's clacky, and if I could describe a switch as having a vibrant sound, the Echo switches would be it. Overall, I do like the improvements that Echo made with these new switches. It feels smoother and has less stem wobble. They look really nice, but I do wish that they were a bit cheaper like their other switches. $7 for 10 switches is really expensive, as there's other switches now that provide a better value at the price like JWK switches. While for budget switches, I still love the Echo CS switches as the best option, but these new Echo switches might be a little bit too expensive for me to recommend. I still love my Gateron Ink Blacks, and if I'm going to be paying this much for switches, I'll probably spend a little more for inks. But before I jump into the sound test, I just want to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed today's video. 
I got a lot more exciting content coming up that you do not want to miss. Also go follow my socials like Instagram and TikTok. For the sound test, I'll be doing a blind test. I do wish I got some more to fill out a full keyboard, but unfortunately that's not the case today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you do want to check out the switches and support the channel, affiliate links will be in the description. Until next time, stay safe and take care.